Hello everyone, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. My name is Ark Revener and I like to play games, and today we're going to be quickly looking over Hu Tao's banner, Moments of Blossom, and whether or not you should be summoning for these characters. Even though everyone is excited to meet the 77th director of the Wangshan Funeral Parlor, we can't help but wonder if she and the rest of the four stars on her banner will actually be worth summoning for. So I'm going to go ahead and break down everything so that hopefully it'll help you make a better decision before the banner is gone. The first half of the video will focus mainly on Hu Tao, and then later I'll be covering the four stars and show some gameplay of them in action. Like always, if you end up finding this video helpful, make sure to leave me a like and comment down below, and consider subscribing for more Genshin Impact advice, breakdowns, and guides. So before we get into the nitty gritty, I just want to say that I always advocate for summoning for your favorites over summoning for what will do well in the meta. I think that it's far more valuable to summon for a character you will actually enjoy playing for a long period of time. So if you've always liked and have always been waiting for Hu Tao, then I think you should go ahead and summon. Just make sure that you test her out in her trial mode to make sure that you actually enjoy her playstyle. However, I know that most people are curious about how well she will actually perform, so let's break it down. Hu Tao is going to be a bit trickier to build than your average character because she scales with HP, not attack. In fact, her base attack is garbage. It is the worst in the game. However, when you activate her skill, she gains a huge damage boost based on her max HP when she first enters her skill. This means that suddenly HP, main, and substats become a lot more valuable. Just keep in mind that this damage increase cannot exceed 400% of her base attack. It's hard to overshoot 400%, but it's possible and something to keep in mind. Oh, and another thing to keep in mind is that activating her skill actually will cost you 30% of her current HP. So she's definitely going to reward a high risk, high reward playstyle, pretty similar to Xiao. However, unlike Xiao, she's actually able to heal herself up without a healer, so she actually has a bit more sustainability. Her skill is also really great because whenever you charge attack an enemy, it'll apply the Blood Blossom effect, which will periodically apply pyro damage to your enemy. Hu Tao also has some pretty big perks in regards to her passive abilities. Her first passive gives the rest of the party a 12% crit rate boost for 8 seconds after her skill ends. This does not affect Hu Tao, but it's very good for setting up strong elemental reactions because you can make sure that you crit the next time you hit. While Hu Tao's second passive allows her to gain a 33% extra pyro bonus damage if her HP is equal to or less than 50%. So keeping her at below 50% is actually going to be essential for making sure that she can deal as much damage as possible. However, if you ever find yourself in a pinch with Hu Tao, you can always use her burst because not only will it do major pyro bonus damage, but you will also regain some HP. These effects are actually multiplied to do more damage and regen more health if your HP is already below 50%. The HP regen effect can actually be triggered up to 5 times, depending on how many enemies you hit. So you might actually be able to go from very low health to full health in a matter of seconds. So maximizing your damage with Hu Tao is ultimately going to come down to HP management, and the balance between her skill and her burst. Essentially, this means that Hu Tao is going to be an excellent burst damage dealer, but she's going to struggle dealing damage when you don't have her skill activated. This means that she's actually pretty similar to Xiao or Child, and you're going to need to have a strong team to back her up and to switch to whenever her skills are on cooldown. This may make her actually a bit more suited to being a secondary DPS rather than a main DPS, but I'm pretty sure that you can pull off either to fit your playstyle and needs. Overall, I think that Hu Tao is actually going to be a really solid unit. I'm really excited to play with her and test her out as soon as possible so that I can see what works best for her. However, I do think that she could be a possible skip if you already have Diluc or Klee. Both Diluc and Klee are amazing units in their own right and will definitely carry you through most of the current content in the game. I think that Hu Tao has a higher burst damage potential, dealing more damage within a shorter period of time. However, Diluc and Klee are much more consistent, and you can keep them on the field for as long as you'd like without worrying too much. While with Hu Tao, on the other hand, you will definitely have to learn how to play around her unique playstyle and skill cooldown. Ultimately, I think that this mainly comes down to whether you like Hu Tao, and whether or not you need a pyro damage dealer. Alright, and moving on, we have the three raid up 4 stars on Hu Tao's banner, Shangling, 
Ching Shou, and Chung Yun. For the rest of the video, I'll show you guys some clips of me using these three along with Diona, so that you can see their gameplay and see if they might be a good fit for you. Keep in mind that this team has all level 40 through 60 level characters, and I'm fighting level 90 enemies, so their damage potential is actually much higher than what's being shown. Yet, despite the level difference, I was actually able to defeat these enemies pretty comfortably because they have such great synergy. So I actually love all three of these characters. I think that they're pretty flexible, so you can place them on almost any team and they'll do pretty well. However, I definitely think that there is one unit in particular that stands out amongst them, and that's definitely Xing Shou. He is by far one of the best 4-star units in the entire game, and will really take your damage output to the next level if you manage to get him. I think that he's also going to be one of the best units to pair with Hu Tao due to his off-the-field rain swords, his damage reduction, and his vaporize capabilities. His healing might pose a small problem for Hu Tao since she deals more damage under 50% health, but I think it's possible to work around this. If you're curious about his constellations and whether they're worth summoning for or not, I think that C1 is great because it gives you an additional protective rain sword, and in my opinion C2 is probably his best constellation because it extends his burst and also lowers enemies' resistance to hydro by 15% for 4 seconds. I think that his other constellations are all good, but they're definitely not necessary for him to be a good unit. I think that if you want to max out Sing Shou, he's actually a character that I think is worth investing into, but it's not necessary. He will be back multiple times since he is a standard 4 star, so don't feel as though you have to go all in to get all of his constellations because you can slowly get them over time. And actually, you can get one of his constellations in Paimon's Bargain Shop this month, so if you don't want to wish and have the chance of not getting him, you can always guarantee a constellation there. Chung Yun is also a great unit, and is actually one of the best cryo support slash damage dealers in the game. He's less flexible than Ching Shou, but pairs very well with pyro and hydro units for melt and freeze comps. I honestly feel like Chung Yun is really slept on, but if you need a strong cryo unit, he's extremely solid. His supporting capabilities are geared to help you deal out more damage faster and more consistently ranging from cryo conversion to improving your attack speed within his skill field. His constellations are all good but not game breaking, but I would have to say that his best constellation is C2, which allows you to reduce your teammate's skills in burst by 15% when they are cast within Chung Yun's skill ring. This would honestly be incredible for maintaining things like Hu Tao's skill uptime. His other constellations are all nice additional damage and energy regen boosters, but they're not game breaking, so I would only go after them if you really love playing Chung Yun. And lastly, we have Shang Ling. Honestly, I find Shang Ling to be very lackluster as a main DPS, but I think she really shines as a pyro support unit. In fact, as of recording, I think that she's probably by far the best pyro support in the game. Both her skill and her burst can deal damage while she's off the field, and they consistently inflict pyro damage on enemies. She's really great for setting up strong elemental reactions, and it's very easy to use her. However, I think that her true potential as a pyro support is unfortunately locked behind her constellations. C1 reduces pyro res by 15% for 6 seconds after being hit by Goba. C4 increases her burst duration by 40%, and C6 boosts all party members' pyro damage by 15% during her burst. So honestly, if you accidentally get more copies of her than other characters, it's not too bad because it'll greatly increase her supporting capabilities. However, I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to summon for her specifically, unless you plan on using her all the time. Alright guys, I've probably talked your ears off by now. Um, I hope that this helps at least a little bit when making a decision on whether you should summon or not on this banner. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please leave me a like and comment down below, and consider subscribing for more Genshin Impact advice, breakdowns, and guides. I really appreciate all the support that you guys have shown me over the past couple months. I'm really excited and hope that we can keep growing this channel together. I'm also really excited for Hu Tao and I'm planning on wishing for her on the day that she releases. So if you're available, feel free to check in and see if I'm live streaming and join me. I'm also planning on making multiple videos about Hu Tao, possible weapon choices. So feel free to stick around if you're interested in that. Alright, that's all for now guys. Best wishes. Bye. Miss.
for judgment. Can't have your drink. 